So I finally went grocery shopping. <laughs> I hate cooking, but I said I was gonna start cooking more. I got a bunch of stuff that I claim I'm gonna cook, like 10 different meals. I mean, we'll see. I go through these phases of, I'm like, I'm gonna cook nice pot roast and do all this stuff. And then the time comes, I'm like, I'm not doing this. I'm tired. So we'll see. I have so much like in my kitchen. I put up half of it already, but I'm still not done putting up stuff. I also spent like 400 bucks on groceries. Like grocery shopping is ridiculous. I'm starting to feel like, should I just eat out? It feels like it costs the same. Like this is ridiculous. I'm not sure what to cook today. I'm tired. I have to cook something, or my daughter will get mad. And when you have kids, you have to cook all the time. Crazy fun fact: um, When I was a kid, my mom would go to McDonald's and get those uh, mini cheeseburgers for like. 39 cents, she'll order like 15 of them and she would freeze them. And then we come from school, we would microwave and eat it. <laughs> She's probably gonna kill me for saying this on here, but. Oh no. She didn't like to cook. I mean, now that I'm an adult, I get it. I don't like cooking either. I don't blame my mom. Like, I'm tired. I just have one kid and I'm like overcooking. For those of you that have multiple, I don't know how you do it. I'm tired. Snacks for my daughter because she does not like the school lunch, but I still put $40 a week on her lunch account. She just buys like chips, which I have chips at home and drinks at home, but she just likes buying it at school. So yeah. Another thing I don't understand about kids, how much of seasoning, like I really told myself, wait a minute, I didn't want this size. Why did they give me a small size of ginger? Whatever. Anyway. I still need to decide what I'm gonna cook. Pot roast. Do that. I bought bananas. Didn't realize I already had bananas. So now I have all of these bananas. Look at that. Yeah. Part of this grocery list a while back. Cornstarch. I love this zesty spaghetti seasoning. So I can give more flavor. Um, sun dried tomatoes. I'm gonna put that in the fridge. There's so many things I could make. I just don't know. I kind of want pasta. I don't know what I want to cook. Basil. Spinach. Guacamole, I love guacamole. Each of these guacamole is like a hit or miss. Sometimes it's good, sometimes it sucks. So, it just depends like who makes it. Everyone makes it different. Um, I wanted to try this butternut squash. My daughter's probably gonna think it's a cheesy ravioli and it's not, so she's definitely gonna get upset about that if she bites into it. Oh, I put my car key in my bag. What's wrong, my love? What's wrong? Are you okay? My fridge is already kind of full. Cool. Um, I don't know what to make. I like saved a bunch of recipes that I wanted to make. What's wrong? You always do this and you just like me creeping out. So you know how his dog does that? He just like kind of stares at his space and like, do you hear a noise? Do you see a ghost? Like, what is going on with you? All right, I saved a bunch of recipes online. Let's see. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Maybe I'm gonna make spinach. So I was gonna make these cheesy quesadillas, but currently Tuscan chicken thighs sounds good. What do I eat with it? <coughs> Must be. Yeah, do that. Chicken thighs. I got this. I can make this. Um, what else? 
I bought a vegetable chopper finally. I had one, don't know what happened to it. We'll see. But yeah, that's the goal. I'll show you guys why I decided to cook. You're not allowed in the kitchen. I'm talking to my dog. He, he's trying to sneak in here and he's not allowed. Isn't he cute though? You're cute, but you gotta go. <laughs> Bye, guys.